Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to build a Sarimax model. The script that we will build together will be available in the description of the video, where you can also find a link to my secret discount portal, where you'll find you know, vouchers uh, with a maximum discount I can offer for all my online courses. With this, let's kick it off, and we need to start by installing a specific library so pip install pmd arima and it will take a few seconds so i'll just pause very briefly all righty 10 seconds in and then we can import library so import pandas spd and then from pmd arima we import auto arima which is the function that we use in order to create our Sarimax model. And let's go to the data. I have prepared a data set for you. So let me retrieve it. It is in the cloud so that everyone can access it super, super easily. So HTTPS, and then we do colon, two slashes, bit.ly, and then slash Udemy data frame. So this is a data frame on Udemy Wikipedia page visits. And one thing that we now need to do is that we need to put the date in the index. So index call equals to date. And then we also use this parse dates equals to true. Here we go. And then we set the frequency. So as frec, and we set it to daily just to make sure. Most of the times it's not really needed, but you never know. Data frame equals two, and here we go. And then let me just do here, data frame dot head and control enter. And here we go. Next up. So what we do is that we build, you know, a training and a test set. So training and test. And we leave 31 days for the test set. This is a random number. It is just, you know, the duration of a full month. So let's build training Y. And then here, what we do is data frame dot I lock and then so minus or up until minus 31 and then colon and then here. And let me actually get here the data frame dot head. Then here I get the one with index position zero. So I get Udemy out of it. And then I do the test and then underscore y equals to data frame dot I lock and then starting from minus 31. And I see that I have here a mistake. So 31 and then here starting from minus 31. And then I put here a colon and I look at the index position zero. Then I do the same thing for the training x equals to data frame dot I lock, I lock, here we go. And then up until minus 31. And then from index position one up until the end. So one colon. And let me do control C and then control V and let's replace with test X. And then the colon goes here to this side. And this is it. Let me do shift enter to make sure there's no mistakes. Okay. And there appears to be no mistakes. So model equals to auto arima and then Y equals to my training Y. And then the X equals to my training X comma, and then the M, which is the number of, you know, seasonal, which is the number of seasonal components. It is seven because it's daily data. We have seven days in the week. This is why we set it uh, to seven. Just to highlight two things on the seasonal components, Serimax or any kind of Arima model only allows one seasonal curve. This is why we must specify the daily data, which is 
the smallest seasonal cycle that there is. Unfortunately, we cannot specify other seasonalities. There are other models that allow this. Another thing, and this is the second, and when it comes to this auto rima, it finds the best parameters for the Sarimax, and Sarimax has six parameters. It maximizes them based on the AIC, which is the information, or better yet, it is the Akaiki's information criterion. And this criterion uh, maximizes two things. The first one is that it maximizes goodness of fit. So how well is our model fitting the data? And then the second one, it maximizes simplicity. So there's this trade-off usually between how simple a model is and how well it is fitting at the data. The idea is to prevent, in general, overfitting. So this would be the two things that I would like to highlight. This will still go on for a few more minutes, so I'll stop here, and I'll see you when we come back. And after eight minutes, it is done. Now what we're going to do is that first we are going to predict, and then we are going to visualize. So this will be our approach. To make the predictions, we would use the model uh, to predict, and then here we include two things. There's the number of periods, which equals two, and this one is 31. And then we have the x. So the x equals two, and then it is our test dot or underscore x. And let's look to enter. We get an array out of it. So then we transform into a series, BD series. And here we go, control enter. And now what we're missing is the index, but that is in a different line. So predictions equals two. And we start it here. And here we go, let me just organize it. And then the predictions dot index. And then here, what we do is that we borrow it from our test underscore y dot index. Here you go. And let's have a look at the predictions. Control enter. And here you go. You can see it here, which now makes our visualization much, much easier. So training underscore y and then dot plot open parenthesis and then figure size equals to let's put you know 16 and 8 and here we go and then legend uh, equals to true legend equals to true and let me do control enter to make sure it works and here you go we can see it here potentially i can decrease the height a bit so just with six and yeah i guess this is a bit nicer let me do uh, control C, and then control V instead of training. Let me put the test Y and I'll remove the figure size. And let's do control enter, make sure it works. And here we go, we can see it at the end. And then lastly, we add the predictions dot plot. And here we go. And we would have them here at the very end. One thing that we can do to make it easier is that we have data until the end of 2020. So we can just look from 2021 or 2020 or 1st of Jan onward. Here we go, control enter. And here we go. So here we would see. The general assessment is that our model, which is the green line, is currently over predicting, whereas People are apparently visiting uh, Udemy less. So this is one thing that we can say about our model. With this, I am done and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, have fun.